Hi guys, this is Megan with the blog WilsonHomestead.com and today I am filming our empty house tour for our new house that we just bought. So you guys have probably seen our, all of our moving updates and you know that we've been in the process of buying a new homestead and selling our house in town and it's finally all all through everything worked out well and we officially own this homestead this has been our dream for years and years is to get out of town and have more land this is almost 10 acres and i'm going to show you guys a tour of the house and the garage and the land and so i hope you got i hope you guys enjoy this video so here's where you come down the driveway and we have our one nice big tree house. It's nothing fancy, but I think it's pretty cute how the driveway is angled in from the road and the tree kind of blocks it. Hey Sophia. And there's our garage and our shop over there. So you come over this way and we'll come through this front door. So here's the access to the crawl space, which I'm not going down there. So here's our front door and we're going to be changing where the front door is. Eventually it'll be over in the front of the house, it'll come into the living room because this is a little bit of a weird entrance. But it come, you come into this room that has a door to the garage. I guess we'll go in there first. So it has this massive two-car garage. We've already moved our freezers in here. Luke's very excited about the big garage because he can have it as his workshop. And then here's a door out to the back. You can see some of our pasture back there. And then you come through this entrance into the house and pile of boxes because I've been moving stuff every time we come up here. So here is the entrance to the house. And we turn right to the left here and here's the first bathroom. Yesterday we just had a big cleaning day so it's actually clean. <laughs> the toilets were so nasty, like dark brown on the inside, it was just terrible. So it's clean, it, it looks outdated still, but at least it's like livable, cleanliness wise. <laughs> so it's just one shower in this bathroom, but it is a two bathroom house, which I'm really excited about, now that we have a toddler potty trained. So you come further this way, and here's some really nice storage cabinets that I already have some stuff in but these storage cabinets in these old houses are so deep like it's just crazy and then it's got a bank of drawers I'm really happy with the amount of storage that's in this house and then you come around the corner here and this is our living room it has original hardwood floors which I am just dying over I'm so excited that it has these hardwood floors and I think it's so cute how the woods like angled to the side like that we have a wood stove here, which is the other thing I'm super pumped about. The wood stove and the hardwood floors are the things that I'm like most excited about this house. Well, besides the land, but the land, the wood stove, and the hardwood floors. So just a really nice big living room. It's got some interesting wallpaper choices or paneling choices. I took down the curtain that was over this window because it made it so dark, but look at this view that we have out our living room window. Like, can it get any more gorgeous? And then you come back this way, and this is the master bedroom. You can see someone kicked a hole in the door. <laughs> this is the one room we didn't clean because we still have to pull up all the tack strips around the edge of the floor, and I didn't really want to mop until we did that. But it's a decent sized master, and again, hardwood floors and interesting wallpaper. Here's the master closet. I have his playpen in there because he took a nap in there while we cleaned yesterday so that we didn't disturb him while he slept. <laughs> but that's a decent sized closet. And then over on this side of the master bedroom is the bathroom. And I'm so thrilled to have a bathroom attached to our room. It feels so fancy. <laughs> but this bathtub definitely needs to be resurfaced, which is Fine, because my father-in-law actually resurfaces tubs for a living, so we can have him do it. But just a simple little bathroom. It's got a linen closet area, which will be nice. Um. 
but it definitely needs some work and some updating, but it's not bad. It's not nearly as bad as when we moved into our last house. Over on this side of the living room, we have a little built-in bookcase, which you can see I've already put stuff on it. I'm just excited to be putting stuff in the house, so I keep bringing stuff every time I come and unpacking it. <laughs> but it just makes it feel homier and homier every time we come. And storage down here too. And then over this way, this is like kind of a weird little bedroom office thing. It's a very small room and it has an exterior door. So maybe that's why they say it's an office. But then it also has a, a closet, so it could be considered a bedroom. So who knows, but it's, it's really little, but you could fit a bed in here. It has other floors through here too. And this door actually opens up into this little fenced yard, which will be so nice for the kids to play in so they can't just go out on the entire 10 acre pasture. And then back through this way is the other bedroom. And this will be the kids' bedroom. Nice floors. These ones are probably in the best condition of the whole house. But it has a window that's looking out onto our back porch. And then this window is looking out into that yard that I was telling you about. This window is absolutely massive. And then over on this side, it has um, some interesting storage. These cabinets have gotta be like three feet deep. They're so deep. It has the, the closet in the middle, but it just has so much storage. It's just ridiculous. And I've got, I do have stuff, some stuff in there now, but you can see how deep that goes in. The camera is not even doing it justice. And they, they had some interesting, um, painting choices. It's very colorful. <laughs> and then back out this way, there's the door where we originally came in. And here is the kitchen. And this is the little dining area. We'll have to cram our big table up against this wall. But here's the kitchen. It's decent sized and it's not in that bad of condition. It's just needs a little bit of a style update and we might end up changing the layout because I'd love to change it to where it's a style of kitchen. You can put your table like in the middle of the kitchen, which is what we have now and I've loved it. And the window looks out onto our back pasture. So really good views while I'm washing dishes. And then you come out this way to our back porch and I will take you out to the pasture now. So here's our back porch. It's decently sized and it's in pretty good condition. Here is the yard. So it'll be nice to just be able to kind of close the yard and let, and let the kids play out here. We have a lilac bush. And then they're kind of buried, but over here we do have a couple little garden beds. And Luke planted a couple things from our current garden that were volunteers. We've got a, a kale plant and I'm not sure, I think those are all kale plants. So our first little plants in our gardens here and then here's the other garden bed. Obviously they need all the weeds dug up and yeah, they're just very overgrown, but we'll fix it when we move in. We'll come back over this way to the porch and we'll go out this direction and get to the pasture. This grass is so tall. It's like gonna come up to my knees. Okay, so here we are. Here's where the driveway comes through and this is the garage and then this over here is the shop or kind of barn shed thing. But this is our pasture. It goes all the way to, I don't even know if you can see it, but the fence that's by that house over there that's our property line. So it's almost almost 10 acres, so plenty of space for us. And I mean, can you get over these views? You can see all the mountains. And there's some double gates into our pasture from the driveway. And it, it wraps all the way around to the front of the property too. But this is 
gonna be so much space for us. We're not gonna outgrow this much land in a really, really long time. The pasture is all irrigated by brood irrigation. It has amazing irrigation rights, so we'll be able to keep it nice and green through the whole summer. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this quick little tour of our new house and our land. We are just so excited and so grateful that we were able to buy this. And you'll see a lot more of it to come because I'm gonna be sharing all of our renovation plans for the house because we'd like to change a lot of it. And what animal we're getting first on the land and all kinds of exciting stuff. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any of that. And head over to my blog and subscribe to my email list. But thank you guys so much for following along this journey. And I feel like we hit such a big milestone in our homesteading journey. And this is a place that we'll probably be staying in for like five to 10 years. So I'm just excited that we have kind of a more permanent home base and we don't have like a, a big move looming ahead of us. But thank you for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.